So this project is going to be just a quick little Inventor 3D printing project where we're just going to make a quick little keychain. So it's going to be something relatively small just so we can kind of get some practice doing some 3D modeling in Inventor and then also bringing that into the 3D printer and printing it out. So you see right here, this is my assembly file, but you're going to be doing this all, it's pretty much just a small little part. So your part file, there's one for the key ring that I made just real quick. And just here's a demo right here of what your keychain could look like. Again, this whole thing is my design right here. You can take it, you can adapt it to however you want to make it. Uh, the only real limits is it has to be relatively small because it's a keychain. You can think about it, you don't want a keychain that's going to be too big to put in your pocket or put in your bag or anything. Also, it's going to take longer to print and the printer can only print so large. So this is a nice little project. So let's get started here. We're going to create a new file, a new part file. So go to File, click on New. So we're going to do this one in millimeters. We're not doing this in inches. So over on Templates, make sure you have Metric clicked. And then for your part file, we're always going to be Standard and Millimeters. Standard millimeter part file. Click it, hit create. So we're going to start out making our general rectangle for our keychain. So just click. Notice how when I hit start sketch, I'll do that again real quick. Start sketch, click on my plane. For some reason the default over here is rotated, so I'm just going to put that back. I want to create a rectangle right here that's going to be 60 millimeters by 20 millimeters. So I'm going to go to rectangle. I'm going to use a rectangle a different way this time. I want the center of my rectangle to be my origin right here. So I'm going to hit the drop down, hit rectangle, two point center. And click it. So then I'm going to click my very center point and I'm going to come out. Now what this rectangle does is it centers your rectangle on your, that center point. So it has some handy features. So just like before I want to type in my dimensions so you see that it's blue right there. I'm going to type in 60, hit tab, type in 20, hit OK, hit enter. All right, so there's my 60 by 20 rectangle. Now I'm going to put a little ring here to attach my key ring. So I'm going to hit the circle button. And for right now, I'm just going to click on it out here. I'm going to put it off to the edge, not connected. We'll connect it in a second. Uh, let's make the outside diameter 9 millimeters. Type 9, hit enter. Let's make my inside, let's try five, five millimeters, hit enter. So now I'm going to attach this over to here and use my dimension button. Because remember, I can click this line and I can click my center point. Hit dimension, click one, hit the other one. And then when I click, it's telling me that that is 20 millimeters away. This is where I can edit this. Let's make it three. So now between that center point and that edge is only three millimeters. So that looks pretty good. If I wanted it a little bit further, I could try four. But this is going to get pretty tight right here. It has more tendency to break. If I wanted it even smaller, you could do it too like that if you wanted to even. So, But for mine, I'm going to put three. And I'm going to hit finish sketch. So this is two dimensional. I want to make it three dimensional. So let's hit the extrude button. Hit extrude. Click what you want them to do. Let's rotate around. Click that one. Um, let's, right now it's defaulting to 10. Let's make it 7 millimeters. Hit OK. So we've got a nice little rectangle right here with the little loop for our key ring that we can do. So that's a good 
starter point for us.